Shadow Coast here, and welcome to Surviving Mars. We're tackling, building our first Martian colony. So let's kick it off and start a new game. Now I have played a couple hours the tutorial, and I started kind of a test game just to figure out how things work. I am by no means an expert, but I'm going to have a lot of fun here. So I like to ramp up the difficulty. Um, I... I'm not going to go hard because I'm not ready for that. So I'm thinking about one of these normal ones. Um, of the normal ones, I think Space Y, but we're going to call it Space E just for fun. Looks harder because they have less... Um, they have fewer applicants and slower research. And they get less for rare metals, which, which is going to be our critical way of generating revenue. So let's, let's go with Space E. For our options, all funding gains are increased by 20%. Repeatable tech that grants funding. Ooh, that's kind of nice, politician. We're going to go with City Mayor, where we get a little bit of, of a bonus up front. And our building costs cost less metals and concrete. So that'll save us in the early game. Our logo, Mars Express, Voyager, Final, final Count. Ooh. Serenity or Final Countdown? I'm going with Final Countdown. That's a cool symbol. Mystery. So this is the storyline. And we're going to pick Wildfire. The worst pandemic in modern history was the Spanish flu of 1918, which killed tens of millions of people. Today, with how interconnected the world is, it would spread faster. And it has with coronavirus. So during this time of coronavirus, we're going to pick this wildfire mystery. Game rules are actually, I think, make the game easier when I looked at it. So we're going to leave that off and jump in. Here we go. So our first rocket, Phoenix 1, we're going to make a few changes. So let's just see prefab buildings. These are buildings that you kind of have to purchase in a prefab and have uh, shipped over. So three drone hubs is nice. But I'd rather free up some of the money um, and space to bring some more resources. So I want polymers. Ooh, wait, what? Two. And then they get like incre. Oh, they're two thousand. Hmm. I would like an extra probe. Okay, I am going to prioritize machine parts because that will allow me to build uh, certain buildings that I'm going to need earlier on where polymers come into effect a little bit later and so do electronics. Um, in our next shipment, our next rocket, we're going to need to bring a fuel refinery and a few other things uh, as fuel is super critical. All right, what I love about this game is we can colonize anywhere on Mars that we want. But, assuming we were to do this in reality, we would do a ton of research and pick the best possible spot. So, these spots seem pretty good. High resources. I'm going to go off book. Is there a... Hmm. Yeah, we have a bunch of resources. We'll, we have to worry about meters, but everything else is pretty low. Yeah, I'm not sure we're going to... Yeah, the cold waves are higher. What do we have? Was 10 something? Uh, nope. There we go. 10 north, 177 east. So let's kick it off. Topography relatively flat. I like that. This seems like an easy er start. So I invested in an extra probe, and I'll tell you why. Everyone at Mission Control is impatient to see the rocket touching down and unloading its precious cargo. Our remotely controlled eyes and hands on the red planet, the drones and rovers. Our goal is to secure a foothold for humanity by building the first Martian dome. This daunting endeavor will allow the brave pioneers the founders to settle on Mars and prove that the colony is sustainable. But until then, we have to make sure the colony has enough reconstruction resources, water, oxygen, and power. Mission sponsor Spacey, or Space Y, and Commander Profile City Mayor. 
All right, so whoa, this is nice. So we need we oh, we're gonna pause time. These are how we produce uh, money. So these are pretty cool. That being said, we actually need water. So let's launch our food probes. No water. Uh oh. Ah, water. Ah, I wish I could. Well, we'll start unveiling this. Um, well, we need to build where water is. So we're better off starting here, but then we're going to have to build our way over here. And that's going to be a huge pain in the, the rear because we're going to have to be transporting resources over here to build. But that's okay. We have to build where there's water. Unfortunately, we cannot search anomalies yet because we do not have a a um, RC Explorer. So we're gonna we're gonna build over here, and I think we're gonna. So I'm str oops, struggling here because I really want to build in this area to make money for the longer term, but we're gonna deprioritize that and focus on this area. So. You know, we could put our first colony here to supercharge research. So I'm kind of setting down, and we're going to have a central staging area in this area. Now, these are helpful too, uh, but we really want to mine these for funding so we can continue to purchase stuff. All right, so I want to do a little landscaping. Can you make this flat, please? And let's create a dumping ground. Oh, that's not not helpful. Too far, I know. Um, so let's create a. Well, can we not create a dumping ground? We don't want to do it there. All right, we'll do it there. All right, so you, my bud, start farming out resources. And we're going to put a universal depot here and here and here where you guys can unload stuff. And the first building we're going to want to prioritize uh, will be laying down a drone hub. But before we do that, oh, not metal extractor. We want a concrete extractor. So let's angle you this way. And we're going to put down our prefabricated, where are you, Sterling generator right smack dab in the middle. And we will be sure to connect you to it. That's super important. Where are you? OK, you keep, keep farming that out. Um, great. So, when I think about where I want this drone... Oh yeah, there's no way it's getting anywhere close there. Um, we're gonna... Well, we have a few of them. Let's... Where are we exploring? I think there's water there. There might not be. Let's tee up a few other areas to look for water. Uh, okay. Which way do we think water will be? I'm hoping there's one here and then that's easier. But let's kind of wait. We will wait. We are going to put up a sensor tower that'll accelerate our scanning. Ooh, no active research. Mistake. Newbie mistake. All right. Her surface heating. Uh, increased research. That is important. So we're going to pick that. That'll allow us to salvage stuff. Drones and rovers move quickly. So we'll go in that order. Well, we want to accelerate our research. And we have not created a drone hub. Oh, come over here. Drop off your... Oh, I want you to unload. And 
now that you're done, keep bringing in metals. We're off to a slower start. Kind of an awkward starting position. Because I want to get over here to make money. But I also need to build oxygen. And I'm just waiting to see if there's an oxygen... Or a, um, you know, we're going to angle the drone hub that way if this one doesn't reveal anything. So we're measuring twice, cutting once, so to speak. We know we're going to want to put in... So we need, a, we need a recharge station. Keep our drones powered up. We're going to put one in there because we don't have a drone sector hub. Alright, sector scan. And water! Hell... Yeah, why was, oh, it was on the edge. Son of a gun, if we knew that that was there, we would have landed over here. So I'm glad I did that because now, when we think about laying down our drone hub, that is smack dab. Yeah, smack dab in the the middle. Let's see. All right, so that'll be in range of you. Also lays the groundwork for this um, kind of it's gonna be our, our we're gonna move our staging ground over here and I would love to fix some of that Ooh, let's um Move back our universal depots. Can we salvage this? So they're going to have to move stuff over, but we're going to want to flatten things out. And Great. Let's keep searching around our meteor. Oh, snap! Did you just see that meteor? Holy smokes. That was terrifying. Um, and I'm being a little OCD. But I want to flatten this area. Oh, whoa, we extend it. Oh, flatten that area. Flatten this area. So that'll be kind of a mini project. And in the interim, let's start with processing some water. And what I like to do is I do want to build a couple structures to help help with that great this area is kind of flattened I think it looks like so these are the extra parts that we machine parts that we we purchased we're putting them to good use we're producing a surplus so one of the reasons I want to produce that is that when we look at these large solar panels um, maybe what we do here is kind of flatten flatten that out let's have you unload I'm not very good with the RC this guy kind of forget about and then flatten that and we're gonna have to move some of these piles um, all right so 
what I'd like to do is just establish our power infrastructure. So, yeah, okay, so this is up and running. Thank you. Oh, whoa, I'm still trying to build power cords. All right, so what we need to do here is build a few things. So our first order of business will be building water towers. And what we're going to need to do is lay some pipe work down, which should be good. When we look at these water towers, it's just metals which we're collecting. So this guy should be unloading. There we go. And go gather some more. What I was going to do over here is create a little energy farm. So when we look at solar panels, those are metals which we can kind of collect more or less readily currently. So we are going to create a solar farm out here. Alright, great. We're building up our... We will get... That is a really long way away. I'm not sure how we get over there. Well, let's establish ourselves over here first, but we're going to have to build out that way. Twin Peaks. A new and intriguing report has been filed in from an orbital scan above your colony. Two anomalous readings have been detected at the same time. One near your landing spot and one far away. It's a, in a different part of the red planet. One of your scientists is looking at the data and asks you, what do you think we're seeing here, Commander? Look at the analysis and immediately you know the answer. Uh, reveals a vista. An underground water deposit. The scientist looks at the data and nods in agreement. Indeed, Commander, but the nature of the other anomaly is yet unknown. There's too little data to even make an educated guess. That's right, and the other coordinates require a thorough onset investigation. You discovered a new planetary anomaly, remote Martian laboratory. What? Oh, so, so, oh, oh, beautiful. Ah. Darn it, if we had revealed this area, we would have, A, landed up here, or landed right there. We're going to start building in that direction. I am all over the place. How do I cancel landscaping? Um, Alright, well, shoot. Let's, um... How do I want to go about this? I'm trying to... Alright, well, we're going to work on our next rocket because we royally screwed this up, but that's what happened. So first of all, we're going to want a fuel refinery. We're going to actually... <sighs> Drone hub, we're going to hold off. Uh, we're going to get a fuel refinery. We don't need moisture because we found a bunch of whatever. We're going to get another drone hub. I want an RC Commander, RC Explorer. And we're going to go with polymers. What else can we get? A Sterling Generator to help. And... Yeah, that, that'll be good. Because we're going to start building in this direction. Um, this was a waste. It wasn't complete waste, but more or less waste of space. How far out can you go? Can we have some landscaping done? I don't know why we can't have overlapping projects. That seems a little suspicious to me, but that's okay. All right, our power base is good. We have a solar farm. We have some more 
polymers coming. Just unloading resource. Oh. I'm going to actually have you unload. And just unload resources there. Um, so our next rocket, we're going to land over here and build in this space. Maybe we land it over here if we can. But this was a better starting zone. We have to landscape the heck out of it. Um, well, well, we'll land a rocket here and then we'll try to landscape it. Finding out materials. So this was a rough start, but um, we'll eventually get there. One thing that we can do is pipes are cost metal, which we should have a fair amount of. So let's think about, I don't want to build too many buildings over here we're going to basically restart a new colony once the ships arrive, which it's ha it has. Um, and now I want you to load all resources and kind of move some over here. Alright, so first off... Let's um, put our RC Explorer to good work. Where are you? Anomaly. Next, let's try to flatten. Flatten. Why won't it let me... Is it because it is flat? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to make it look pretty. Alright, so... You... Come here and... Let's... Create a universal depot. Start unloading materials. And we're going to kind of restart complete. Milestone achieved. a colony area over here. Um, we're going to produce. Drone hub. Nope, not sure what is that. A tunnel. Uh, connect power and life support grids at different locations in different elevations. Okay, that's good to know. We can build it through rocks and stuff, I'm assuming. it detected a spike in temperature the data tells us it was ignited magnesium compounds 
We are still waiting for confirmation, but the preliminary results are clear. There are signs of chemical burning indicating a combustible material in contact with the probe. The mechanical friction of the drilling head must have ignited the magnesium. What a great discovery! Scientists on Earth had long planned on the creation of jet engines that could burn the carbon dioxide on the Martian atmosphere with the use of magnesium powder. With abundant amounts on site, the research team can begin preliminary testing of working on a prototype right away. Reduces the cost of robotics techs by 10%. Um, yes, please. Is that... Well, normally that shows up as a breakthrough, but maybe we just automatically got it so let's see there's an anomaly here what is this vista i don't think i want to build in the middle of that that seems not too efficient all right so we're gonna do a few things here we're gonna build another concrete area And I want you to go do your thing. Oh, someone's collecting that already. Go out there and collect more metals, please. I'm gonna position you um, in between. All right, so now We should have more than enough. Sector scanning. Anomaly found. Um, I'm trying to connect our two areas. No, I don't want to do that. I wonder if this is an appropriate area to flatten. No. Until today, the only place we thought you could find Ice 15 outside of a lab was on an icy planet or a moon. And here we find it on Mars. Ice 15 is a super dense phase of water ice which is formed in extremely cold and extremely high pressure environments. It turns out the unique geological history of, the Mar of Mars allowed a small quantity of Ice-15 to form under the crust. Even though we didn't confirm any substantial deposits of water, this discovery could, would cause uproar in the scientific communities and draw significant attention to our efforts on the Red Planet. Our sponsors immediately provided us with tools to discover more about the effects of Martian geology on the formation of underground ice. Gain five, a half a billion in... Yes, I will take that. I will gladly take that. Thank you, sir. May I have some more? I don't know if that's redundant, but um, we are now connecting the uh, the two groups, and we had laid some piping out there, but we're gonna do some more um, piping here. Um, all right, so we're producing a ton of concrete. Let's, um, RC Explorer, uh, scan anomaly. Some more anomalies we had. So far it's yielded a bunch of fruits. Um, let's see if we move you here. Where are, where's our dude? Uh, let's load polymers, bring that over here, and I am going to start on another water extraction, and why don't we build one here? Okay, so we have water out the wazoo, 
and um, I think what we can do here is my oh, my uh, building skills are horrible we also started this game in the completely wrong spot So boom, boom, Breakthrough discovered. boom, all right, plasma rocket, rocket travel time on earth to and from earth, ooh, that's, that's big, that is a big, major find, okay, so before we start, let's get some, can you not, We have an excess of so we'll put you there and we're starting to build oxygen tanks and I want you to Unload all. So we're just kind of removing stuff over. Now, one thing we have not built, which I wanted to build early on, was a fuel refinery. So let's use up some of this space. And then one of the things that we also want to think about here is. Okay, there are power cords there. We're going to use a few polymers to... Man, this is not how I like to normally build stuff. I'd like it to be much more orderly, but we are just like super spread out along this relative line. Um, so let's put you over here and you don't have anywhere to oh that's I didn't think about this so oh nope don't go waste rock load all so we're gonna create universal depot over here and then over here I want to kind of have a central depot um to reference stuff well oh, nope not what i wanted let's go depot concrete and then depot metals and we're just going to build a few of these because I think we're going to have some excess of a bunch of stuff. We're going to be voting in this general area. Capturing this one. And then, I mean, eventually there are two over there. But maybe we can create a transport and a self-sustaining thing over there. We're producing more power during the day and then using it at night. Um, thinking about our grid here, we probably want let's support some more power. Research complete over here. And how much can we store? We can store a thousand. We have a thousand capacity. That's pretty good. All right, so. Come over here. Unload resources. Let's now build our first dome. Uh, 
Um, all right, super exciting. You want pipes to be connected. We're also going to want electricity to be connected. So that should be good. Where are you? Keep scanning. How much oxygen do we have? So 700 water capacity, 300 oxygen capacity. So each of these things are about 100. Let's um, load up. All right, this rocket when it takes off is going to be super, super, super buff. Um, let's load polymers from all three of these and move these over here. Ooh, okay, so I forgot about this water station. And we're gonna need to build some power. Anomaly we out. are producing so much water. I think we're gonna be just fine. I was freaking out about it before. But um we have more than enough, I would say. And we can definitely sustain our first colony. So launch satellite. satellite. So we, when we go to the planetary view, there are different missions we can embark on. We are nowhere close to being ready. Um, how much fuel do we have? We want to get this one out of here. So let's prioritize you. You can kind of wait. Once we start making money and exporting stuff, then I will feel way more comfortable. So polymers, electronics, 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 Milestone polymers, polymers, electronics. What are we? All right. So come over here, try to unload all resources. All right, so we are hooked up and ready to go. So let's get a move on and start building our first dome and bring our, our first founders. Okay, so we're gonna build a living complex. We definitely wanna accelerate our research. We've been slow on that. Um, where is, yeah, we need hydroponics, so we want to build, make sure we can feed our population. Um, I heard in the tutorial they like to buy their groceries. Could do a diner, which is dining social food, relaxing drinking social. I infirmary all right medical checks or um wait is that hold on i think that's how we can have births um has lower minimum comfort requirements for births so let's um have a little hospital and let's do open air gym that seems like a pretty good one stay healthy and fit so we have food, water, research. Um, I dare say it's time to look at our passenger rocket. So a few scientists are good. When we look at filters here, we want to increase perks and decrease flaws and quirks. So that looks good, and that's how it selected these. So we have scientists, botanists, officer, geologists, botanists, engineer. Um, so these people should have um, lower quirks. 
Um, so I'm gonna. Uh, what does an engineer do? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna bring in another botanist. Cause this botanist looks pretty good. And we have some males and females. Um and an other. So that's that's good, I guess. Let's go. Uh we have no residents because we have to build this thing. Which I'm hoping we will Let's prioritize. Kronos one as a whole. Okay, they have a place to to to, to live. Um, load resources. We want you to take off soon. What are we researching? Plasma rocket. They move quicker. New building polymer factory produces polymers for modern fuel. New building fuel refinery. Oh, this will allow us to do. I think we can now build these things there. So that's important. Um, I would say that's even more important than a plasma rocket. So let's uh, do some reprioritization. Focus. And I also want to do rare metal extractor. Where is the power? So minus 10. We're still running, uh, charging down during the night because of our solar farms. That's okay. Um, I... I'm a little worried that that'll impact us once our colonists are here. So I am going to take the liberty of producing more wind. Oh, we did not bring enough food. I am significantly now concerned that they're going to starve. So let's stick two hydroponics farms in there. They're almost here, 70% of the way. Sector scan. Select the sector to scan. Ooh, thanks. Let's see if there's water over here to support this. We can start another colony over here, to be honest. Um, look at all this water. Now we're like, we were so concerned about water. Now we have water up the Hizu. have a bunch of sectors I'm gonna want to build a colony over here for more metals right now our RC transporter is just unloading materials back and forth let's do Making sure we want to do full on research. Okay. We're going to land you. And this is cool. Let's slow it down and check out our new arrivals. Ooh, we are running low on metals. Full of hope and determination, the first founders have set foot on the red planet. The next ten souls will be full of difficulties and dangers, but also with great promise. 
is in opportunities. It is now for us to prove that Mars can be a doorway to the greater riches in the future of the human civilization. Even the most epic adventures begin with a single step. Arrival of additional colonists temporarily suspended until the colony proves able to sustain human life. Your founder colonists must survive for 10 souls before additional people can arrive. The colony will be evaluated positively before the period ends in the event the first human is born on Mars. If you feel you're up to the challenge, try constructing a medical building and raising the comfort of the founders as much as possible with service buildings. So we're kind of doing that. Um, we could add a bar, I guess. And... Um, I'm just nervous they're not enough of them. So here they are. You can click on them. Whitney, A Axel, oh, Zan, Maya, Litsy, Katja, Brandon, uh oh, Maya, Angel, Colleen, Elvis. And Cheyenne. Crop failure detected. We got a few botanists working in the spot. Um, no edible food has been harvested. That is not healthy for us. Our explorer just got into a pretty serious accident. The good news is, it's still in one piece. The vehicle stumbled upon a crust fault which could have lasted for a couple hundred of years under, under the slow erosion of the planet. Disturbed by the mechanical motion of the scanning probes, the surface opened like a wound and swallowed the rover, luckily only for a dozen meters. The sturdy machine got out of the hole, but nevertheless it sustained heavy damage. Millions of years ago, Mars had been shaken to its core by cataclysmic impact which sealed the fate of the planet. Since then, Mars, like all giants, is dying too slow for our mortal eyes to witness. Yet even today, the death throes of the red planet can be felt unmistakably. The RXC Explorer as one function. It has to be repaired by drones. Oh, no. Can you... Alright. RC Commander. Get to work. Go help your buddy. Our RC Explorer. Alright, so we have a few few foods, so hopefully that'll last long enough to figure out how everything works. Um, so water, so nine at night, kind of drawing down. We have 11 machine parts. We're going to need more polymers. I... We'll continue to build out my kind of solar farm so we're fully charged during the day. All right, so productivity training when working at the, ooh, yeah, that's a big one. Dare say better than these guys. Low G, so this will give us polymer factory and fuel refinery. That'll be super helpful because we need a bunch of those. We are capped on water. Um, what do we need to store water? Um, so this is just metal. Ooh, we're starting to run low on metal too. Are you producing anything? Sort of. Alright, so we need more metals. RC. Explorer. Okay, you guys are back up and running. Let's bring you home. That was terrifying. Kind of lost your little buddy. Ooh, that's an anomaly, so I will take it. These are all concrete, so I think we're good on concrete. We are, we need metal. This can prove difficult. So we're gonna maybe do a little flattening. Oh. 
to a dumping ground. Milestone achieved. So three buildings Research aren't working. Not enough workers, okay. So how is food going guys? I see you're eating food but not producing it. And that's making me super nervous. So these guys are highest priority. Resources are low. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna launch another rocket here, and we're gonna can you? Where are rare metals? I'm gonna send this one back. This is great. You're gonna be higher priority. And I wanna see 66%. So let's launch a new rocket. All right, um, let's get one of each of these. Kinda need them. And we're gonna go Electronics are harder to make. And we don't want you to kind of interrupt the dust storm. Well, you have to get here before we land you. Oh, we didn't get food, but it says food production is four, consumption is zero. So that's a good thing, I think. Sector scan. Um, okay, hold on. It just said, oh yeah, but we need machine parts. Um, Repair those. Um, gonna build a fuel, fuel refinery here. Let's bring our RC commander over here. Anything else? Any other anomalies? No. Wow, it is hard to make money. Um, we've capped on water. Oxygen demand. Anomaly found. So let's send you to go find it. Even I have faith. All right, so keep loading up on resources and bring them back. we're doing decently well we have a sum total of one which is 20 million um, 
stored in service buildings 9.8. Kind of nervous. Says we're in the positive. So Where did we put? Okay, good. Will this work? Maybe, maybe not. Our next rocket's almost here, so. Let's um, land it. Oh, it got there. Great. Research complete. So let's bring you wars home. Bring you back home and unload metals there. Anomaly analyzed. All right, you're full up. We are oh, like overdoing concrete. So we're gonna turn you off. Come over here and help with this stuff. And metals are, I was so focused on making money, I'm now a little concerned I might have misplayed my cards. Ooh, so it's telling us to put a park in place. So let's put a little garden. Um, there we go. A little late at night. So we need to really be using our RC collector dude to better effect. Fuel production. Um, so this one, then this one, then this one. Alright, so what's your deal? You are producing stuff at such a slow rate. I'm gonna deconstruct these. Sector scan. Kinda move you. Are we minus one during the day? That does not bode well. So let's. We're gonna do this. Great. And I build this out so you can charge up during the day. 
Hopefully repair stuff. Research complete. All right, let's just keep knocking these out, making better progress. Slowly but surely. All right. So maintenance can get exhausting. Luckily, we um, just gonna drop some stuff over here and pick up the fuel and load up this guy. And I'd love to have a fuel depot right here so we focus on putting it there which should be closer yeah all right i think we're doing okay guys the power is a little bit tricky we kind of charge up during the day and then decharge at night. Oh, what are you doing? I want you to keep gathering these metals. And I will produce more power to make sure we don't go freeze all our people. Alright, so there's some resources there just to help repair stuff. Okay, so we're gonna bring you back over here. We still only have one, like what are you doing? Um, oh, gathering exports, okay. So that should give us um, a decent amount. We really need to prioritize our transporter. I think we have some research to make them go faster. Yeah, that'll be good. I am so impressed that you got out there, but I am now super nervous for you, so I want you to come home. And this guy, I want you to come over here. Design fall. The wind turbine's propeller barely rotates under the Martian wind. We have a problem. Major flaw in our wind turbine design is now apparent. Their working is hampered by the gradual accumulation of fine Martian dust that is inevitably on Mars. As a result, all wind turbines are producing less power than we expected. Mission Control has suspended the further construction of wind turbines until we manage to come up with a lighter design and a better mechanism. Research the wind turbine redesign tech to solve the problem. Um, uh, okay, so we're going to deal with it, unfortunately, but we're going to research this. I wish I could, no active research. like, I forgot, what do we want? Um... Yeah, there we go. Let's fix it. Gambling mix the stars. Are all gamblers coming to Mars? It's the ultimate roll of the dice. You travel through 50 million miles or to, uh, through 50 million miles to a rocky and hospitable world and try to bend it to humanity's will. Axel Griffin, on the other hand, seems to be a gambler in the more traditional sense. We must not judge. On the contrary, we must be supportive and help our dear comrade with whom we've traversed the void, super-headed 
spearheaded humanity's expansion on other worlds, only to find that we are no safer from vices so earthly. It's as if we never left. The founder, Axel Griffin, has the gambler trait. Uh-oh. Building's not working. Okay. Low storage food. At night, we're getting hammered on power. Uh, but luckily, or hopefully, it's only at night. Um... gonna unload fuel or unload sector scan so electronics and then unload fuel So we are like squeaking by it on food. I wonder if this will help. This is five out of 30. Get back to work out there. You are ready to take off. So take off. All right, so we have 3,085,000,000. So that should go up a little bit is the hope. Let's see. We need to build out this way. Wait, what happened? Spooning has malfunction. Drones can repair it with one metal parts. All right, so production. What did we research that I thought was so important? New building polymer factory. So we can also build a polymer factory. But I think machine parts are a little more critical right now. And electronics. Um, So food has been super important, clearly. So we just need more colonists. So you know what? Let's come out here closer to where we're already playing. million okay that that's nice um, prioritize the dragon next so you are full up so let's unload resources The movement of material is super important and very stressful, if you haven't guessed yet. 
So I'm debating on, do I build, do I put another dome? What is this, research site? Maybe I build another dome over there to accelerate research. Oh, no, where are you? But I also would love to start building in this direction and grab these two sites. Just need a lot of water. Um, and this would be nice. Maybe I build a dome here. Yeah, I think I'm going to build a dome here. Let me... How do we connect? It's a long walk. Anomaly found. All right, so we can't, that's too far. Um, we're on it, scan away. All right, well, we're going to call this an episode. We have started our sprawling colony inefficiently, but you know what? We're making it work. So join us in the next one. Thanks for watching. Shadow Coast out.